Good afternoon to our traders around the world and the U.S. traders, our prop traders, every trader that we have, is we have uh, Priceline. And Priceline was up here toward the $1,400 level. And when it had that pullback, and I'm just going to give a little history, um, what the earnings did again and whatnot for our bigger people. So basically, we were up here at 1373 and we had a correction from that number to this low. And that low was 1087 right here. And we popped up, and then we had um, a great move to this high. And that high there was uh, 1,329 on, on Priceline, okay? So what has happened is Priceline has another big reversal. Buying the put options is the way to go, the way to go on Priceline. So we're not going to cover those option trades right now. We're just going to cover this chart. So we had rallied up here off of this bottom on um and the date let's take a look at the date the date was 1015 from this double bottom which was 1022 1022 and then from that number we went up and we topped out at 1229 they released their quarterly earnings and they had a huge gap down and we called for over a 100 point gap down and it's not the first time in the earnings season that we've done this. We've done this several times. So basically, from that uh, uh, volatility of the earnings report, we come down here, and I'm just going to bring it right here. This is where I'm going to bring it. This part is going to be the next support level. Um, that's where the trend had went. That's the big gap down in earnings. So... I'm going to refresh everybody's mind. That high, 1,229, they report earnings, and they go all the way down to 1,081. 1,229 minus 1,081. That's over 100 points in the earnings season. And they drop the bomb. And we hit lows over here at 1,082. And it's trying to hold that support level. But what I'm saying is, is that the volatility is in our favor using call charts and put charts and options and our bigger traders while they can just short the shares. We have a daily sell signal on Priceline and we're going down. So I'm giving the earnings recap on Priceline and the destruction that happened in that earnings report last week. Um, one other thing I'll be happy to do. I've also pulled up a weekly chart for us during the weekly earnings last week in that big down move right here. Now, what I am going to focus on is this color line right here, like the yellow one, that is referred to as a 100-week simple moving average, and that's at 10, 17. That's where that lower support level is going to be. And I'm going to draw another trend line right here. Now, you can see where we consolidated on this weekly level in calendar 14 and we made the all-time highs and then the dips and we made the highs again right there so basically I'm going to blow this up for you now MMTs and I'm going to just take this part right here this is calendar 14 and we have a high reversal meaning that here's what I want to point out well, remember one thing, it was the earnings volatility, the after hour, uh, in this case, it reported in pre-market. But see where these high reversals are? I just want to make sure from that wick to that wick that that is lower. And from the same point, I will go from here to there. And that is critical. That diagonal line, we got, um, so what we're really seeing in Priceline, one of the most volatility stocks out here is that um, that volatility is going to be used in options trading. I want to cover the 50-week moving average at 1,200. 
I want to cover the this line, that blue line is a 10 week moving average at 11.44. And that the red line up here, all of these moving averages were being what? Going down in the wrong direction. So here, we're gonna blow them all up. You got the 40 week, the blue line, you got the 50 week moving average. And then you got the crossover, the death cross of the 10 over all of these other key weekly uh, moving averages. Price line, well, it's going to go lower. 12.29 was the high here. And the low, once again, like I said, was 10.81. And technically speaking, on the uh, weekly chart, that is broke. And I just want people to know that the 10-week moving average now, that's very significant, the 10-week. That there, 10 week is at 1137 on price line right here. This is that blue line. And we can clearly see that this uh, convergence of uh, MACD is minus 18. And this was a weekly rally. And then we had the earnings come out. So this weekly bar is all about the earnings. Now, the big money is either going to buy or continue to sell. What I am saying is that the closing price, the closing price on Friday was 1094. Now, 1094 was the close, and that 10 week is resistance of 1144. Write it down, MMT. 1144. That's the resistance. That's the 10 week moving average. That's what you want to be focused on. Now, I'm also going to draw another trend line on the weekly for everyone. And basically what we have here is this is above here. But this is where we have current breakdown levels in the weekly. And we started with the weekly gap down and it continued to go. And we came back up one week, two weeks, three weeks. The fourth week, well, they uh, released their earnings and it got killed. And a lot of stocks have been killed in this earnings season this year. So basically, price line is a trade using the call options and the put options. We've covered all of the weekly moving averages um, and all the daily simple moving averages. So basically, price line goes lower. The volatility is in this trade, and it will continue to have price action volatility for the foreseeable future.